Oh, hey, welcome. Today we have a special video for you. Today we are going to do an unboxing on two of the new NVIDIA 30 series graphics cards. We have two 3060 Ti's we're going to unbox. We have a Founders Edition and we also have an MSI Ventus 2XOC Edition. So we're going to open them up, we're going to check them out, we're going to weigh them, we're going to check the specs, we're going to see how they are, and we're going to plot out our next build. We were able to scoop up four of the 30 series graphics cards. We made a tutorial video on it. It's probably up in the description here if you want to check it out. Hopefully it can help you to acquire some as well. So without further ado, let's bask in all the glory that is the new 30 series graphics cards. Okay, first up we have the MSI Ventus 3060 Ti2XOC edition. The first thing I've noticed is that it has a much lighter boxed weight than the 3060 Ti Founders edition. So let's go ahead and just put them on a scale and see how much different the boxed weight is alone. Just as an interesting test. Alright, let's see here. The Ventus comes in at 2 pounds and roughly 13 ounces. Now let's put the Founders boxed on the scale. So, over a pound more for the boxed weight for the Founders Edition over the MSI Ventus. I've been hearing that this has significantly more weight and density to the metal cooler so we're gonna find out when we unbox them here time for the fun gotta get these unboxed gotta get them both put into the rig behind me it's gonna have dual 3060 ti's running in there refreshing Here's our standard packet that comes with our MSI gaming card. Let's see what we have in here. Uh, product registration, installation, quick user's guide. Usually they come with a little more, maybe an insert, something special. Nothing in this one. Let's see what we have here in the card. Definitely has some weight. It's very comparable to my 2060 uh, Super MSI Gaming. Maybe slightly heavier. So the cooler's pretty beefy on this. We have our eight pin, dual eight pin setup. Um, heat pipes coming out. Shroud's pretty nice. Definitely all plastic shroud dual twin frogger um, cooling it 
does have a pretty good design to allow all of the heat to blow through here. Many holes to let the air push through. Has a single HDMI, three display port out. Uh, it does have a back plate and it's that plastic type back plate. Not a fan because it tends to trap heat in my opinion, but if it's designed to blow the heat out the sides and the front, it shouldn't be too much of a hindrance, but I am gonna have two 3060 Ti's stacked on top of one another, so could be a heat trap. Alright, card number two, Founders Edition 3060 Ti, pretty and sleek. One and two. Alright, let's crack this thing open and see how it looks. And time for the grand reveal. Well done, NVIDIA. That packaging job on point. That is a pretty packaging setup. Wow, this thing. This thing is solid. You can tell a big weight difference between this and the MSI Ventus 2X. There is definitely a lot more metal in this guy. Love the flow through design. Let's prop this up and see how it looks. Now that is a thing of beauty. It is a very much art. Let's go back and discuss what's in this box. There's our pretty little quick start guide, quite nice. Our warning to avoid warranty by doing things you're not supposed to do. Our ridiculous proprietary connector where we can adapt our 8 pin connector into their new 12 pin connector. It doesn't make any sense for the amount of power this thing uses, but that's neither here nor there. A support guide. And that's it. Nice solid foam construction, angled box for display. Class act from the NVIDIA Corporation on this one. All right, let's do a quick weight comparison on these. Like I said, they are quite different in size and weight for sure. So let's see here. Zero. Let's get a weight on our founders first. Zeroed out. The Founders Edition coming in at two pounds and four ounces. And our Ventus card coming out at one pound, 12, one pound, 13 ounces. Um, wow, that's a quite a disparity in size. The 
Founders Edition, definitely much sturdier, much thicker, much heavier of metal, but uh, we'll see if that correlates to performance later. I have a feeling that they're both going to perform pretty equally and they both will actually probably stay just as cool because this has so much more of an open design. It's thicker um, and height and it has the twin Fazer fans so I have a feeling they're probably going to perform very similar. All right, so the plan is we're going to install both 3060 Ti's. We're going to run a dual 3060 Ti rig that way for work and my editing and for mining all concurrently. We're going to have to upgrade our power supply. We got a nice 750 bronze uh, RGB Corsair that should give us plenty of power, especially since we'll be under volting the system. And here's the system that they're both going to go in. The Founders is going to be probably on the bottom. I'm going to put the MSI uh, Ventus 2X on the top. I'm going to replace this 2060 Super Gaming X MSI and the 1660 Ti Gaming X, both from MSI. I'm going to pull both those out and I'm going to run a dual 3060 Ti build in here. And that'll be my main editing. Uh, slash workstation slash battle station and it's going to be nice and we're going to be able to mine 120 plus mega hash all concurrently while doing all of our daily driving this build is all in a lian lee land cool 2 mesh design that way i can get maximum airflow through the entire front of the case is mesh the bottom has plenty of clearance to pull additional air out from under. It has a mesh front panel with a tempered glass side panel. It also can pull air right underneath of the GPUs as that is a mesh area. It has plenty of ventilation. This is one of the top rated ventilation cases they currently have and it comes in at a decent price point. Highly recommend this. I'm running an Arctic Freezer 2, um, keeping that super overclocked uh, CPU running nice and cool. This concludes our double NVIDIA 3060 Ti graphics cards unboxing and review. Were you able to acquire any of the new 30 series graphics cards? If you were, make sure to comment down below. Tell us what makes, what models, where you got them, how much you paid. Everybody wants to know in the community how to get a hold of these. Um, which reminds me, click on my video description above where we in, go in depth on how we acquired four of the 30 series graphics cards in one swoop. And hopefully you can follow this and you can accomplish the same task. Make sure to hop over and check out Hash Raptor's review of the NVIDIA 3060 Ti Founders Edition card. He did a very professional review of it where he installs it in an open airframe. He shows the hash rate of it and the efficiency. Um, we're going to be doing a build as well where we put in both of these 30 series 3060 Ti's into one, one rig and then we'll do the hash rates and the efficiencies as well. Um, if you enjoyed the content, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride.